So today I'm going to be going over how to clean the sensor on your Canon M50. And I'm doing this because there's a lot of misinformation out there about this subject. And when anybody posts a photo where they got spots in the photo, or there's a little obviously dirt and debris somewhere in the system, you hear everybody say you need a sensor clean and then they recommend what is called a wet sensor clean. And that is either using a wipe to go in there yourself that you get with a kit to clean it off or to send it in to get it professionally cleaned. But in 95% of cases, that is more invasive than is necessary and you can sort it out without sticking a wet wipe or anything with a cleaner on it inside your camera. And the first thing we want to do is identify is it is the dirt actually on the sensor or is it on the inside element of the lens? Because I know we all check the front element of the lens, that makes a lot of sense. But often we don't think about the rear element of the lens. And as much as the sensor could get dirty, the rear element of the lens can get dirty. And if there is some dirt in the system there, it's a 50-50 chance of which one it's on. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take that lens off and just have a good look. See if you can actually see any dust on one or the other. Now, even if you're not seeing anything to the naked eye, the next thing I would do is I would get my little flashlight with my phone and I would just have a look over that lens. See if you see any smudges or dirt or debris in there. And actually, I can see the smallest amount of dust on this lens. Nothing that's going to affect image quality, but this will allow you to identify any problems. Once you've identified the problem, if it is just a little dust, then we're just going to take our little air blower thing and I'll put a link to a cleaning kit that's got this and the brush and some of the other stuff in the description down below. And then what you want to do is you want to take that lens, put it facing down and just blow like crazy. Now we're not even touching the lens, nothing wet, nothing dry, nothing at all. We're just blowing air. And in the vast majority of cases, that is actually going to solve your problem. From there, all you got to do, put the lens back on, take a photo, see if the spots are gone. If they are gone, great. If not, I'm going to take it back off and then our next port of call is the brush, the little lens brush. Once again, similar thing. Just put it upside down, just so if the dust comes off, it falls down. And just go like that. Generally, that will sort it out. It's good to have these brushes around as well because around the outside of the lens mount, if you're in a dusty environment, this will often get dusty and gritty. And this is a good thing to have around just to brush that off as well before it actually does get into your lens. Now, if that doesn't resolve your problem, then your third port of call is a lens wipe. I use these little Zeiss uh, lens wipes. I use them for my phone and my glasses and all of my camera lenses. Absolutely phenomenal. They don't leave fibers behind and they don't streak. So um, that is your third port of call. And Certainly, after you've used those three things, you will have sorted out if the debris is on the back of the lens. Now, if it isn't, if we discover that it is definitely on the sensor in the camera, then our first port of call with this is to put the body cap on. And we are going to use the sensor cleaning that is in the camera. Now, you've probably noticed when you're turning your camera off, it will tell you that it's cleaning the sensor. Now, what it is doing is it's sending ultrasonic vibrations through the sensor on the lens. So it's got some mounts, it sends this high speed vibration thing. And the idea of that is it's trying to vibrate any dust or particles off there every time you use the camera. But if that doesn't happen to work and it gets stuck on there anyways, we're going to turn the camera on we're going to hit menu. We're going to go over to the wrench icon. And then we are going to go to the number three menu and sensor clean. And when we're doing this, we're going to be putting, point, pointing the camera straight down. And the idea behind this is we're going to go through this sensor cleaning process five times. And we're hoping by hitting it five times in a row with the camera facing down, Gravity is going to help us and that ultrasonic vibration is going to shake that particle loose and it's just going to come out and it's going to end up sitting in the body cap. So body cap on, pointing at the, at the ground, sensor clean, select clean now, OK. It says sensor cleaning. It makes a shutter sound, thinks for a few seconds, then it comes back up. Menu again, wrench icon number three, sensor clean, clean now. Sensor clean now, okay. So we're gonna have five, uh, we're gonna have five attempts at that. And then once that's done, 
put the lens back on, take your photo and see if the spots are still there. All right, spots are still there, now what? Take the lens off, set it aside. Once again, camera facing down, pointed at the ground, camera is turned off, and we're gonna use our little air puffer. And we're just gonna puff, 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 puff away. Just try to get all in there. Once again, pointing down, so if we do manage to blow that dust off, hopefully it will fall down and out of the camera. And you can get pretty close. You can really get that, you don't wanna to touch the nozzle on there, but you can really get there. And if you can see the thing, you can really just try and blast it off. I would say, in my experience, that cures it 98% of the time before we start sticking anything wet inside the camera. Once again, put the lens on, take the shot, see if the dust is still there. If it is, our next port of call is the little lens brush. Once again, pointing at the ground, we just gently dense the sensor. Make sure you have a clean brush. You do not want a dirty brush when you're doing this so you can add more dirt to the lens than you're taking off. But a clean, you know, preferably even a new brush. Dust that off, see if that sorts it out. Once again, test it, put the lens on. If none of that fixes your problem, now we're talking about wet cleaning time. And you've got a couple different choices. You can send it in, have it professionally done, Generally, it's not that cheap unless you've got someplace local that you can drop it off to and they're pretty good. Or you can order a uh, sensor cleaning kit online, which I would recommend. And in all the years that I've been using cameras, I, I both professionally and personally, I've only had to do a wet sensor clean one time. And I think most people who watch this video before they go sticking wet stuff in their camera can sort it out with this little bulb thing. Much cheaper, less invasive, quick and easy. You can use it anywhere. So before you go down the wet route, then definitely use the little squeezy thing. And uh, as I said, I think 30 or 40 cameras over the past 20 years and I have only had to actually wet sensor clean one of the cameras in all that time. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and as always, stay creative.